Yo, hey guys, what is up? It's your boy JJ Tech here. Welcome back to another brand new video. We're kicking off 2022 with this bad boy right here. Yep, the 2022 Toyota Tundra Capstone. Now, I know I have already done a video on the 2022 Tundra. If you haven't seen that video, link will be down below. But Toyota just unveiled a brand new trim model. And this is supposed to be the highest end luxury model, like fully specced out. And today we're going to cover what's new and what's really different from, say, this to a 1794 edition, for example. And uh, with no further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so starting off with the first image, as you can see here, the front end design. Sorry, guys, this was the best image I can get without using somebody else's website. Uh, there isn't that many high quality images of the front end on Google. If I do want to find a better image, I have to go on like Motor Trend or whatnot. And I don't want to get copyrighted. I don't know if I would, but... So starting off with the front end design, it's a Tundra, you know, uh, but you can see some differences starting off with the grill surround. Uh, let me hover my uh, cursor and you guys are going to catch me looking over here because I'm looking at my second monitor. That's where the image is at. As you can see here around this grill surround, it's body colored. As you know, in the Platinum and the 1794 editions, they are chrome and like a matte silver type chrome. And then the headlights look pretty much the same. Uh, other than that, the grill does look a little different, but other than that, the most noticeable thing is the color matched is the color match grill surround. Now moving on to the side profile. Now this is where a big change does come. Not sure if you guys can tell, but there is 22 inch wheels for the capstone edition. This is exclusive just for the capstone. You can't get 22 inch wheels on any other trim model other than this capstone and uh, they look pretty good. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that they're my favorite, but definitely, definitely better looking than like other Tundra wheels. I do like those TRD wheels though. Those are better looking, but when it comes to the luxury, these definitely fit this truck. And another thing is we do have kind of like this matte chrome strip along, along the window trim. Of course, we have a bunch of chrome everywhere since this is, you know, the highest end model. It's expected to have lots and lots of chrome. And I do like this little chrome down here that says capstone right there embossed in, in the driver's door. And uh, yeah, the side profile other than the wheels is pretty, pretty similar. And another thing to mention is, not sure if you guys can see this, it's a little blurry, but this little badge right here indicates that it's the iForce Max engine. And that means you can only get the capstone with the highest end iForce Max uh, engine, meaning that it's going to be the hybrid model. So, so if you're getting this model, this means you're pretty much going to be getting every single option from the engine to the wheel size everything is going to be fully maxed out for this capstone now moving on to the back end of the brand new capstone tundra yet again looks like a tundra back here but not sure if you can see up here it's actually body colored and uh that is i believe different from obviously like a trd pro and even i think a platinum i will pop up the images so you guys can get an idea of what i'm talking about but yeah Looking at the rear, uh, we do have kind of this weird uh, bumper. You know, Toyota kind of changed it up. They wanted to do something different than other manufacturers. Uh, not everybody's a big fan of it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm the biggest fan of this bumper design. But I like that it's different and they're trying to do something different. Not just copy other manufacturers. Uh, yet again, we do have a Tundra embossed like chrome inside. Instead, it's, instead of it being body colored, the Tundra text, it's actually inserted with chrome as well as the handle back here to drop down the tailgate is also in chrome. Lots of chrome with this capstone, but yet again, it is the highest end model. Other than that, it's pretty similar to pretty much every other Tundra trim model. Uh, yeah, let's move on. But before we move on to the interior, one thing I do got to mention is something else that's different for this capstone and that no other Tundra has other than the TRD Pro is these kind of expanded fender flares. It's actually the same width as the TRD Pro, but this does not have the marker lights. It's kind of weird because the reason, or at least one of the reasons why the TRD Pro trim model has these marker lights is because it's past a certain width, and once you're past a certain width, you need those, mark you need those marker lights to pass regulations and to actually be able to sell it to the public, kind of like the Ford Raptor, and since, this, and since this is the same width as the TRD Pro, it's kind of interesting how they were able to bypass that uh, regulation and not have to put on those marker lights. But it would look kind of cool with the marker lights. But of, but of course, if you want all that, you got to move on to the TRD Pro trim model. But now let's finally move into the interior, which is probably 
the biggest difference with this capstone compared to every other tundra yet again guys sorry for the low quality image like i said there's not many high quality images on google of this truck right now but yeah let's move on to the interior and guys this is where the capstone shines among every other trim model and that is that it's a fully luxury specked out trim model you know leather everywhere nice materials everywhere and yeah this does not disappoint we also have some interior lighting which i think the tundra is going to be the only truck in this class to actually have that i don't think any other truck in this full-size segment actually has interior lighting so yeah that definitely gives it like a luxury vibe type thing in this interior another thing you'll notice is this little embossed capstone and it's also lit up with interior lighting to kind of make the cabin seem more luxurious and you do have more leather trim on the dash leather all down here below this below the dash on this kind of leather on this kind of ledge right here and then of course you got wood grain and as far as i know it's actually real wood grain and it's kind of this matte wood from what i know real wood and then yeah guys this interior is stunning it does only come in this color like i said what you see here is what you're gonna get when you buy a capstone you can't get any other color this white color is the only uh, option for the capstone but yet again why wouldn't you go for this color i mean if you're already going to be spending a lot of money why wouldn't you get you know the white interior of course we got the massive 14.1 inch display in the middle with a 12.1 inch uh, infotainment cluster right there as well in front of the driver and yeah guys this interior is fully decked out of course we do have a camera on the rear view mirror as well like I said, this thing is fully decked out, guys. Now, I got a more close-up image on the infotainment screen, and we can really see all the details on the leather stitching right here on this kind of ledge that comes out of the dash. Massive 14.1-inch display, of course. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, of course, just like every other Tundra. We do have the blue power startup because this is the hybrid V6 iForce Max model. Man, that's a long name. But, yeah, guys, this interior is... Like I said, fully decked out, extremely luxurious. We got the leather stitching on the dash. Goes all across the dash, looks like. Except maybe the uh, passenger side. But, of course, it's going to be a nice material because, yet again, I keep mentioning it. This is the fully maxed out luxury model. But now let's move on to the back seats. Alright, so moving on to the back seats. Yet again, not the best image. Sorry for that. We can really see the seats. And it's not just a full white seat. It is contrasted with the black as well so it's a black and white seat and i'm really loving this look guys i'm a big fan of this truck so far of course massive massive space in the back seats uh you do get you do get your climate controls you get heated and cooled seats of course you get your usb c of course a traditional usb a and of course a full household style outlet in the rear seat so you're fully connected of course, you do get two cup holders back here. Yet again, guys, this interior is just extremely luxurious. You get a full panoramic sunroof as well. You get a 12-speaker JBL premium audio system. Like I said, this thing is fully decked out, guys. And uh, sadly, we don't have any price information on the capstone. But uh, from what I can see, it's going to be pretty, pretty high up in price. But yet again, this is supposed to compete with something like a limited Longhorn from Ram or say a Ford Limited or a Platinum from Ford stuff like that so this is the top top trim so so it'll probably be priced around those trucks uh, to compete of course and uh, yeah guys then the plus with the Tundra is that you're gonna be getting Toyota reliability uh, yeah guys so now let's wrap up this video alright guys so I found a better image uh, I found an image of the front seats I thought I'd share that before we kind of close out the video Yet again, same color as the rear seats. Like I said, this is probably the most luxurious uh, truck in the segment. Yes, I'm talking Ram. Yes, I'm talking Ford and Chevy and whatnot. Uh, maybe not as luxurious as a limited Longhorn, but we'll have to wait and see. So far, this is looking like a pretty, pretty sick truck. I'm loving it so far. Loving the front end design. I definitely like the front end more on this capstone because it does have the body colored uh kind of surround for the grill yeah guys i'm loving this truck let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this capstone edition do you think it's necessary do you think they could have done a little more let me know in the comments down below but i think they nailed it uh so far i don't have anything to complain about one thing i do want toyota to do is just kind of price this 
a little bit below the competition so they can i guess get more sales and uh definitely will have some people buying this if they do price it nicely you know compared to other trucks but yeah guys now now one exclusive feature that the capstone has and no other tundra has is acoustic windows and acoustic glass meaning that the glass is actually thicker so it's more luxurious inside the cabin you get less wind noise yes guys this is honestly i didn't expect this i really didn't expect all of this i believe this is the only truck in the segment that has this and yeah guys so you're getting you're getting a lot of features on this capstone and you can only get the capstone with the five and a half foot bed and the crew max model meaning the four big doors you can't get it in the double cab model with the smaller uh back doors or you cannot get it in like let's say an eight foot bed or a six and a half foot bed it only comes as you see here and uh, i'm not complaining too much about it it makes sense this is the fully decked out luxury model it makes sense to have it in this configuration but yeah guys that pretty much wraps up today's video let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more videos like this i definitely enjoyed making this kind of video and also i just dropped a youtube short link will be down below don't forget to check those out as well like i said i'm grinding this year there's no stopping and also let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the toyota tundra capstone did you do you think toyota did enough let me know down below but yeah guys just like that this video is over i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video peace out